Hi, it's Bart Polson. This is exercise six from chapter three of VJ Monzo's book, Max MSP Jitter for Music. And this is a, um, a way of doing intervals. Uh, what I have here is a modified version of what I had previously. If I click on these bangs, I'll get a chord. Well, this one actually turns it off. Uh, put it back down. But what this one does here is it allows me to specify intervals. This is the uh, pitch of the note. That's a middle C right there. This is the velocity or volume that's all the way up so you guys can hear it. And what I have here is a, a plus object and it adds on a certain amount to whatever I have here and it gives me an interval. And right now it adds nothing. So if I click on the bang here, now just as a quick note, in the actual lesson it had a note in object. That's what you saw previously. but I don't have my MIDI keyboard yet. It'll be here real soon. So I just replaced it with a bang for now. So if I hit it with a bang, there's the middle C. But if I change this to, for instance, 2, now I get yeah, and a little interval. I can change it to 4. And I can change it to 12 and get a full octave. Or let's make it uh, an interesting one and just do an 11th here. Yeah. Anyhow, it's a way of specifying intervals. Pretty cool. You see it goes from 60 to 71 on that one. Anyhow, that's pretty cool.